Merseyside Anglers, hello, how are you? Lee, how are you? Today I am making squid squid wraps. I've had a lot of people asking me what, what's the process. A lot of new anglers come to the uh, come to me asking, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, some squid wraps done. Uh, got an hour's live stream before I open the shop, so I thought I'd come in a bit earlier and uh, get some done. Uh, I've got uh, I've got some orders, so I might as well get it done. So the process is simple, you're going to need your baiting tool, I've got this stainless steel tray that, uh, well it's like more of like a trough, a friend of mine uh, made it for me. Uh, you're going to need something like that, your baiting tool, your bait elastic, and really I should be getting these gloves on because I don't want to be stinking all day of squid, so I'll get myself some gloves. Doing. Right, we just crack on. Can't get our stuff to make them. Some nice black. See what I do is I get it all ready first. Nice little pile of black, nice little pile of squid.
important to keep organised when you're doing these. You don't keep organised. It's got, it tends to get a little messy, so a little bag. I'll move that in a minute if it's in the way of the camera. You might have some people coming in to the shack while I'm working, but I'm only doing a short live feed just to let you all know what's going on. I tend to like put two worms to one wrap, really, that's the idea. Nice juicy uh, worm. can't actually see any comments uh, so if I'm not ignoring anyone I just can't see them I, I can't touch my phone or my camera for obvious reasons So you get your squid, like so, on it goes, like that, and you either get a really long web or two big ones. Bang it on top. Try and keep an eye on the end of your elastic, it tends to go missing dead easy when you're doing this, especially when you're doing a lot of them. Then you just wrap it round, don't go too mad. That's the process, just like that. So, if anyone hasn't got any experience in making wraps, this applies to anything you do with squid or mackerel or bluey or black. Or any wrap in particular you want to do. There you go. Then you bang it in your bath in your pot, and you just repeat the process. So let's crack on. If you have it too tight, when you go to pull it off, it just uh, it falls apart. So don't elasticate it too tight.
Some nice, nice wraps going on here. Look at those bad boys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, please. Hit subscribe, leave us a comment, give us a like. It all helps. I appreciate it greatly. If you're new to the channel, then let me explain. I'm Richie. I own Shaft Bait and Tackle. It is a fisher tackle shop, bait shop, up in North Wirral. Um, selling premium quality baits. And I'm just about to show every. Well, I'm just showing everyone the process of how I go about making squid and black wraps. So if you're new to the channel, you're very welcome. You've got another uh, 45 minutes with me, guys. So thanks for calling in. Just keep rapping. So you gotta do is just keep rapping. Just keep going. That's a nice big worm now. Oh yes. Try not to get the juice in my mouth. It happens at least twice while I'm doing this. End up with squid juice in your mouth. <laughs> Fantastic bait, fantastic. Squid and black is a fantastic bait for this time of year. In the Maisie as well, it's just, it works so well. If anyone's watching from a further afield than, than the Maisie, let me know how, how you get get on with squid and black wraps. How popular are they ever, anywhere else? You know, are they, are they popular on the East Coast maybe? Is anyone from the East Coast watching? Let me know.
wonder why it doesn't flip. Uh, got you back. Don't know what happened now. Why would you flip? Just gonna have to have it upright like that, I reckon, guys. What a pain in the arse.
How many people got watching? Three. Hello, you three. How are you doing? You must be bonkers or you really love fishing to be still watching. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It all helps. It really does. It helps. Not in the uh, bait elastic there, look here noticed. She wouldn't let me out, me laddie. Uh, okay, late, no problem, mate. Be another time, mate, loads of, loads of time. to go fishing mate it's the winter so we've got plenty of time to catch up on a cod if we want to mate plenty of time don't know why i went all weird and fake scottish then plenty of time lad but yeah that just happened today again as well she won't let me cut me what Oh, you're going? Oh, sweet. So you're going to see me later, Lee. All right, that. Happy days. I don't know what that says there. She won't let me cut me... ladle up? What the hell's that, mate? <laughs> Explain. I haven't got a clue what you're on about, bud. I thought, Lee, I thought you said she won't, she won't, she won't let me out. But I don't know what that ladle up bit is. Ah, oh, my bait elastic isn't, it's doing my head in. I know what I'm going to, I know what I need to do. I'm going to need to find one of my special ones. Your ladle handle, yes. Okay, guys, so for those who are interested, this is a custom-made bait tool that I had made. It's obviously a copy of another one, but a friend of mine called Pete, he made this for me, and uh, he, he works he works with, uh, obviously, sheet metal and stuff and whatever what this is. But, uh, yeah, me and Lee were talking about cutting up a ladle handle and then filing the edges, and then you've got yourself your little uh, baiting tool, uh, but his wife won't let him cut it up. <laughs> so 
So uh, he's gonna have to go get himself to uh, to B and Q and go and buy one, go and buy a ladle and cut it up, mate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I get you, man. I get you. I didn't even know what you meant then. Ah, doing, doing. This is my favourite bait elastic to be fair, I absolutely love this stuff, dead fine and it doesn't stretch too much, when it stretches, when, when I find when you're making wraps and, you, and, you, and, you, and it stretches too much, you cut into the, into the wrap and then when you're pulling like it, it, cut, it like pulls the bait apart and that so you need one that's going to not have a lot of uh, giving it and then it just snaps off dead easy, so yeah just be aware of that when you're doing your wraps because uh, it gets messy otherwise because you've got bits of squid and all kinds of flying, flying around everywhere but yeah everyone has their own likes and, and stuff this is from the same guys who do the power swivels this stuff uh, I usually sell it, I haven't got any in at the moment I've got Sakuma at the moment which is good stuff but uh, you know everyone has their favourite bits and pieces don't they so. I'll tell you what I'll do Lee is I will ask my good friend if he's still in the air. Uh... Hello Mike, how are you mate? You just caught me making some wraps for some customers. Uh, yeah, what I'll do is, Lee, is I will ask my good friend if he's still at the same place, whether he'll make you one. How about that? See, what he's, see where he is, where he's working. I know he's still in the fabrication business, but I don't know where now. I don't know if he's... Uh, able to do anything like that in his spare time oh yeah this bait elastic's way better see how it just snaps straight that i don't have to pull or grab it just goes when i want it to they're the bait elastics you want for making wraps see how it just slides off a lot easier as well voilà. there you go mike if you haven't already just have a look at that for a sausage Nice big sausage <laughs> for uh, cod bait getting it out in the Mersey. Uh, I'm just saying to everyone there, you know, some people, uh, you know, do wraps, do, do, are, are these wraps kind of popular in other parts of the country on the east coast and stuff? Like if they aren't, if they are, you know, what other people use? Love to know, love to know. I know cart's one of them. I haven't managed to get any cart yet, but uh, I am working on it. So, uh, I know that's a popular on the East Coast the cart. But if it's popular on the East Coast, you know, it might be popular on the West Coast because I can't see a fish not taking cart, can you? I think cart, 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 cart is cart wherever you are. <laughs> Try saying that with your teeth out. So the shop is opening in 20 minutes everyone is welcome if you want any of these obviously these are pre-made for orders so you know you need to get your order in today if you want any for tomorrow i haven't got a problem making you some for tomorrow just today obviously with me running the shop it's a bit i'm coming early to do these but it's a bit awkward when i'm trying to serve and you know your hands so if you want any give us a shout i'll gladly make you some more just give us some notice Some of the squid is a bit small in this pack, which is why I'm folding the worm over and not using two worms because 
obviously black is a struggle to get hold of it at the moment so you know if I can if I can get 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 more wraps made using one you know folding it over then I will uh, and the squid's small so you know you want a nice ratio still quite good still good nothing wrong with him See, they're a bit, that's a bit smaller that one. I'll sort that out now, give that a little wrap at the end just to keep it all neat and tidy. There you go. So there's a smaller one, but still that's a nice chunk of bait that the cod will love that. So it's not all glamorous working in a tackle shop or a bait shop. You do have to get yourself smelly sometimes. <laughs> there you go. It's a little bit, you know. You, the best way to do it is judge it, you know, with looking at the wrap, looking at the squid, looking at the worm that you put on. You know, I want to make sure my customers getting what they're paying for. You know, so I'm going to judge it and say, right, that's not enough worm, or that's. Uh, that's fine for the wrap that's enough for the wrap you know obviously i'm not going to just put like a little like little tiny bit on like that you know what i mean i'm going to uh yeah all white mike <laughs> yeah you know i'm not going to put a little bit on like that on a big piece of squid but you know i'm going to make sure you're getting what you pay for but you know again you know if you're doing this yourself at home because obviously i'm doing it because to, to, customers have ordered them but if you're doing this at home then just make sure you know you go you want a nice balance on there you don't want to just put a tiny bit of black it's pointless you want to put a nice couple of worms on or you know a nice big worm on you know and that's what's going to make the scent in the water and make the fish feel you know attract the fish see like look at that perfect There is plenty of whiting in the water at the moment, Mike. <laughs> plenty. I knew a guy the other week, cut about a month or so ago, and he had 33, and the lad he was with had 30, and then the lad next to them had 20 odd. I had one, up until the death. But yeah, long story. But yeah. Yeah, that's a nice bait. And that's just one worm, because the squid, the squid's tiny. Well, not tiny, sorry, it's not tiny, it's small, so, but that's, it's packed, it's packed with worm, it's packed with goody goodness. Yes, goody goodness is a technical term for a nice juicy bait, it's goody goodness. Look at that. See, that's going to do just fine on a wrap. Like that. On it goes. Bang, bang, bang. Can you see that? I can't see if I can see that. I've caught two ting on a panel rig after cod. Them wraps are great for conga as well. Yes, they are. They are, Mike. They're great for conga. Um, I find, though, making them, on, making them on the session. So what I kind of do, if I'm going to do that, is I'll get I'll get me fish bait out. I'll I'll use like a mackerel or something like that. I use a I use a mackerel and maybe leave it out for a day, and then take it with me. And then when I get to the session, 
do it on the session and then it stinks and then the conga kind of love it right there we go another good one it's a really nice looking one they're getting better now i've woken up a bit <laughs> when you when i started this morning i was a bit tired Chop it up, Lee. Chop it up. Dare ya. So my mate Lee's just sent me a picture of his, uh, his ladle at home. <laughs> and I'm daring him to chop it up. Sorry, me. <laughs> don't, don't, don't shout at me when you see me. So, Mike, what would you, what would you advise to keep away from the things? How would you go about trying to? I know it's a bit hard not to catch them, but if there's any tips that you feel work, what would you say? Um, just you know, if you go for a cod and you keep catching things, what would you do to get away from the things? You know, any advice there, mate? Well, anybody got any advice on that? Because everyone's asking me the same question. And I, I, I say go bigger hooks. But they just seem to attach themselves to anything. I've caught one with the bait elastic around the bait once. Just hanging on by its teeth. Just like being pulled up by its teeth on the bait elastic. Just keep wrapping, just keep wrapping. I've got another pack of squid to do there and then I should be done. Well, we've got 15 minutes and the shop's open, so if you want to be live on YouTube, come and buy something from the shack. Come and get your bait. But just don't buy any of these wraps because they're pre-ordered. People are waiting on them. And you'd say that one, see how I put two on that one. That one warranted two because the worms weren't as big. So you put two on there. As long as it's jam packed, that's all I'm bothered about. As long as it's a goody good bait, goody goodness. Oh, yes, I'm well in the zone here. Big hooks, six O's, big baits. Or get nailed by them. It's a case of working through them, I reckon. After a fish. After all the fish is a fish, that's what we do. Indeed, mate, yeah. You know, as long as you're out catching and you're having a good time and you know you you're uh, you're doing what you love. Yeah, I agree, mate. But still, those things are so annoying sometimes. Right, this one's a big worm, so I, yeah, and the squid's small, so yeah, fantastic, fantastic. It's what we do, it's what we do. So this video is going to be able to what, but you're going to be able to look through it, uh, you know, it's going to be up as a video uh, saved to the channel um, once I've finished. So if anybody wants to look back at me doing this for an hour, you're more than welcome. Just make, remember to hit subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment. Oh, I'm well in the rapid zone here. I am well in the zone. Yes. Another big worms can go on there. Yep. Yeah. Open a tackle shop, they said. It'll be fun, they said. 
No one mentioned that I'd end up stinking a squid every winter's morning. <laughs> So here's a common problem. I didn't wrap it. I didn't wrap it tight enough. That's what happens. The worm slips off the squid if you don't do it tight enough. It's like you've got to find the right the right kind of uh, ratio of hard to, th to you know you can't have it too tight but you can't have it too loose. So Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's better. Lighting issues. Sorted. Right, the camera is a bit blurry, but that's because I'm using a crap camera. But oh, next, next live, the next live I do. Now I know that I need to use a better camera, so I will be using a better camera. For some reason, it won't rotate either. So just watch this on your phone, and I'll be upright. You know that kind of thing. Pain in the arse, but these are the these are the modern problems we have. Twenty first century problems. Oh, my camera's not orientated the right way. Attention, which you should have done it at the thick end instead of the thin end, so now it won't come off. Oh. Saved it. Did I rip the glove there? My glove got a hole in it. Could have sworn that got a hole in there. Oh, good gloves. Hello, holding his Codfather. Yeah, I'm well, thanks, mate. I hope you're all well too, buddy. Just getting some wraps together and been asked to show the process, so you know. Uh, you ask, you shall receive. It was a bit of a cold one this morning, if I must admit. It was, it was pretty cold. Um, it's the coldest one yet, so I'm in. 
good hope that when I go fishing later, I get a nice cod. Uh, can you call yourself a hardcore angler? I don't know, mate. <laughs> the blue glove thing is kind of... I don't know. Uh, some people just don't like to fuck it. Uh, some people just don't like to stink of it, do they? You know, so they wear the gloves. Uh, as long as they're not throwing them on the floor and they're taking them in the home or putting them in the bin when they go, I, I'm, I'm sure, you know, that's fine, mate. <laughs> but some people just don't... I know a guy who does, does don't like to stink he'll wear the gloves and he'll take a spray bottle with him uh, and the spray bottle will have like a, a bit of washing up liquid in with you know the, with water and it just keeps his hands clean he doesn't like the smell all over his car and stuff so you know uh, you know that's the only reason I could think of you know they don't like the smell or the steering wheel doesn't want to you know they might have to work the next day in their car or go to work in their car and they don't want it all over their wheel so yeah, you know, there is a few reasons, I guess. But as long as they take the rubber gloves home with them or put them in the bin, you know, we'll leave them to it. Ah, <laughs> uh, fishing a Humber. Okay, yeah, mate. Okay, right, so uh, I was just uh, asking some questions before to anyone who might know on the East Coast, like what kind of wraps are popular over that side, mate? Uh, are the... Um, Squid and black, you know. I'm guessing squid and cart. If 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 that that's what my guess is for the east coast, uh, you know. So yeah, what well, what wraps are popular? There it is part of the fun, Mike. Yeah, <laughs> going home stinking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? How many wives moan about it? I guess all of them. You know, my, I know my wife. As long as my stuff goes in the washing machine, I guess she's not really too bothered as soon as I get in. Washing machine and shower, and she's just kind of pretty alright with it, like, but yeah, it is part of the fun. You know, I'm in a privileged position where I can go, if I, like, I don't drive, but if it did and my steering wheel stunk and I drove to, to, to here in the work in the morning, you know, I'm, I'm part of a fishing shop, you know, it's kind of what it is. <laughs> but if you're working in the office and you're stinking a squid, I guess that's even. Uh, I guess that's fun as well, winding your co-work up like that, I guess. Squid and black are the mainstay, but the cod season squid and mussel have worked well for the cod in the river. Ah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Squid and mussel, that's, a, that's another good one. Um, I haven't had many orders for that this year, but uh, it is available. little plug there. But yeah, squid and mussel. Uh, razor, squid and razor seems to be a popular one as well. So I'm off out later, chaps, I'm off fishing, um, I think I'm off to the Gap, I'm going to do Guinea Gap later, there with a couple of friends. Right, last time I was there, I don't know if you've seen the video that it's on here, but last time I was there I had an absolute nightmare, I took, a, I took two rods, like I always do, I took two rods, and one of them was a new one, it was a Coniflex Nemesis, took that and I took an Abu with me and when I got there and I got the second rod out, it was two halves, it was the top half of one and the bottom half of another rod uh, and for some reason because they were the same colour and I bagged them and I put them in the bag and then uh, I got there and they didn't fit, gutted. Cheers, uh, cheers, Godfather. Hope you have a good one too, mate. Uh, drop us a message and let me know you got on over there. I'd love to see what what's going out like. Uh, see what fish are coming out. Uh, what cod, what size cod are coming out of any? So yeah, just drop us a message, mate. Let me know. Uh, really interested there. Uh, let me know what baits you're using as well, and uh, keep up the track. Not this old chestnut again. Yes, Lee, that old chestnut. So as I was saying, yeah, when I was last at this mark. I didn't do too well because I had to quickly go down to one rod instead of two 
and my tactics changed. You know how it is. Once your tactics are messed up, that's kind of like puts you in a puts you in a shitter, doesn't it? Look at this. Look at this, guys. This happens quite a bit. So here's a squid, and it has its dinner inside it. How mad's that? If anyone knows what kind of fish this is. Leave in the comments, please, because I haven't got a clue. You know, I always find these inside the squid. I don't know if it's part of like get, it's been stuck in there. You know, well I'm guessing it has. It's got stuck in there while the squid's been processed. But what should we call them? Uh, quite a little speck. I'm guessing you don't want to let us know where that is, mate. Yeah, Mike, keep it to yourself if you need to, bud. I get you. Nice, quiet little sesh. Yeah, it's, it's every man and his dog's going to be out today, which is good because the sport's doing really well. You know, it's good to see that the sport's being, you know, the sport, the sport's taking off, you know. In a, I like that. I like to see it like that. It's healthy. The sport's doing healthy. Ever since lockdown, I've found, but you can't... Uh, Patrick, <laughs> any any advance on Patrick? Is it weird that Patrick's just come inside the squid? It came inside the squid, didn't it? That's a bit weird. Red wild. But this is a friend, a family show, so let's keep it PG. small white and yeah I, I, it doesn't feel like it though it's quite rough which is weird I get it quite a bit when I'm doing the wraps I find them a lot out the way yeah no I get you mate I get you nothing better than just sitting fishing in the peace and quiet I totally get you mate might be a smelt yeah it feels quite rough going one way. Like going going that way, it's quite rough. Well, it's got scales definitely. So a couple of petrol fins there. Nice looking fish, healthy. And we shall call him Patrick. Well, Patrick, what are we going to do with you, mate? What are we going to do with you? Chuck it in a wrap. Yes. <laughs> we can't have them wasting away, can we? Nearly done. Just need another pack of worm. I just found a really bad pack of worm there. Jeez Louise. Oh. 
Bed, 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 not good enough, not good enough. Oh, back again. Oh. Oh. Nearly knocked me on my ass, the smell of that. Fucking hell. Sorry about my language, like. Oh, right, you want me to sniff the fish? Yeah, it smells a bit like cucumber. <laughs> Does appear. We got ourselves a smelt. <sighs> Part of a squid. Maisie anglers, yeah, at least you got your own quiet space, mate. That's what it's all about here. We just want some peace, don't we? Oh, just found some uh, black in the fridge there at the bottom in a bag. And oh, just I've had to get rid of it. It's a oh, that was that was a bad smell. Oh, anyway, got a few squid left to wrap, and then that's that, guys. Oh. My brother, when we were kids went and bought some fresh, uh, some frozen, frozen lug it was. I don't know where they got it from. I think it was the fishermen or back in the day, the Ken Hopkins in Morton by us. And uh, it was frozen and he kept it under the mattress <laughs> for some reason, so it defrosted, uh, you know, overnight or whatever. And I don't think we went fishing. I don't, I don't, I can't remember, but I don't think we went. Well, obviously we didn't, we didn't take the bait, but I'll pay attention. But uh, two weeks later, and the the frozen worm was found under the mattress with maggots all over it, stinking households. Uh, we still talk about this today. Yeah, thank you, mate. Uh, go, thanks for watching. Much appreciated, and. Wish you the best of luck later. Tight lines, mate. Have a good, uh, have a good session. See you later, bud. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Uh.
Uh, I love that whole weekend feeling when everyone's getting ready to go fishing and stuff. The excitement on everyone's uh, and, and everyone's face is just brilliant. I like that a lot. I like it how excited people feel about it. You know, just the passion that runs through Merseyside fishing community is just unreal. You know, well, it's the same anywhere with any community, any any part of the UK. But you know, I'm part of the Merseyside community fishing uh, world, and just the passion. It's just unreal, you know. I can feel people typing excitedly as they're getting off. You know, I've got to go and get my stuff ready. You can feel it. You can just, you just know people are excited. I know I am anyway. I'm dead excited for later. Uh, I've got a score to sell with Guinea Gap to be fair. <laughs> After the last trip, so yeah, I'm excited to write me wrong. Two rods this time instead of one and two halves of the wrong rod. So I won't be online for much longer guys because I have to wrap it up here, excuse the pun, and I have to open my shop. Let all you beautiful people in to buy some bait so you can go out fishing later. And don't forget, I've got a vaccine all these as well, and that takes a pretty, uh, pretty hour. So, uh, you know, the process doesn't end when I turn the camera off. It's going to finish when uh, they are wrapped and vaccinated and put in the freezer or the fridge, depending. So there we go, that's three packs of squid down, so that's about 34 wraps, 36 wraps I've done. Um, just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched and commented and subscribed and put a thumb up, really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to go now because I've got to go and open my shop. But, uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a like, leave a comment. Uh, this video will be up later to watch uh, uh, after after I've uh, got finished the live. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, stay safe, tight lines. I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>